I'm still only 90% sure we're gonna close. There's still this 10% thing that says you're gonna lose the big fish at the boat. I've never felt so unsettled about a deal, actually. I first started thinking about this about a year and a half ago. And you know, you've heard me say everything's for sale, right? Well, this business wasn't for sale. This, But uh, we planted the seed about a year ago now. Over the past two months, I've spent 20 hours in person negotiating the deal. Like this guy used to make 60,000 pairs of jeans a week. He used to make all the jeans for Levi's and Wranglers. We're acquiring his whole operation. Taking back America really is what we're doing. Putting our money where our mouth is. Yep. It basically compounds at 10 years in one day. We're adding more than double the infrastructure. By the end of this year, we'll have probably 400 people cutting and sewing. We're making a lot of trips to, uh, to North Carolina and elsewhere as we expand and build this thing. So we upgraded Baby Flyer. It takes America and it just does this, right? So we'll be able to get down to North Carolina from Maine in like two and a half, three hours now, which is like, company series that makes these requires about 25 hours of just somebody with experience on these just to make sure you're good before you fly alone or with passenger. That's what I'm here to do, sign him off, get a signature, and he's good to go. I'm a jet pilot now. Bro, you changed your Instagram name? Yeah, I did. To well, what? There's certain people that started following me in series that I need to look a little more professional for, so. Bro, they don't know anything about marketing. They don't know anything about branding. Right, change, you back. change that shit back. All right. I don't care about people following you in series. Come on now, you're part of you're part of the movement. You're known as okay. Baby Flyer. You better do it before somebody else it takes it. There, so. huh? I still have it for like 90 days. Oh, you got to get it back, dude. Baby Flyer said, "I think the door is shut." No, no, no. I said door is shut. No, you did. Back, <laughs> he said, "I think." I know. I think. I'm I pretty sure. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Emergency exits. We have one to our right. Pull the handle up and uh, no smoking, anything like that. In the event that both of us uh, are incapacitate, incapacitated, uh, we have a, a cap handle here. You can pull and uh, shoot will bring you safely to the ground. Fire. Like a Terminator. Fire. If you. Uh, Fire. 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 That's normal. Here, closing the deal Tuesday. It's a little bit nerve-wracking transitioning a company that's been like 50 years old or whatever. You know, hopefully we don't find any skeletons in the closet. We're gonna find some stuff, and I, I warned everybody like, don't be surprised. But uh, you just don't know, so you gotta kind of expect the unexpected, honestly. And I've kind of prepared everybody and set them up to set them up for success. Like, listen, if you run into something, whatever that may be. Don't be surprised. So we have a transition team in place. Amanda will be here, because the owner loves her. Told me that the deal wouldn't get done without her. He knows that she can make it happen. I'm still only 90% sure we're gonna close. You know? There's still this 10% thing that says you're gonna lose the big fish at the boat. I've never felt so unsettled about a deal, actually. Wally, he's just really old school. He's used to doing business in a different time and in a different way. Look at that place, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Don's here. He's part of our transition team. There it is. You in the bathroom, sir? Sorry about that. What's that? I was the on the floor. I was oh, way out the floor. back. Yeah. Okay. What's going on, Don? Hey, Ian. We just have a few documents to take care of here. The last step in the process, the final road. Peter, are you uh, ready to? Yes, sir. It says that we bend down this road again on another deal. So. So what do we have to sign tomorrow morning if we're doing this today? Possibly nothing. Ooh, that would keep this from getting blown up. That, it? that may, and, and we just have to find a way to, to uh, get a key, maybe a, a midnight drop behind the bush. Uh, <laughs> like that. 
It's huge. All, all the gaps and challenges that we've had, uh, they're not going to magically go away, but this is this is a huge step. Probably opening up some gaps and challenges. Uh, we, we will, yes. <laughs> uh, we'll... 160,000 square foot Pandora's box. <laughs> so we'll probably sign the whole company over to Don. <laughs> he doesn't know. I slipped a page in here, actually. He didn't, he completely he just dipped his beak so. a little. Oompa loompa doopa de doo. We're picking up the, uh, what's the word? The little one. The Oompa Loompa. We're picking up the little savage, bruh. The little savage. How'd you do, Chloe? Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, yeah, you too. I like Chick-fil-A. I like what you just brought me. Ian. Chick-fil-A is me. Ian what? I'm just gonna say some. <laughs> Why are you getting red lately? You're I'm not red, man. Uh, That's the light, light? from the okay. freaking vehicle. Red. <laughs> Why are you getting all Colonel... Sanders? Sanders. Let like me that. tell everybody! <sighs> Why? What is the breath out? Do you like it? No, Peter. You did it again. I know I did. That it's is like a... so freaking cringy. You talk like this. Just... Right? Isn't that what they do? All of the patterns. This is it though. Look at that shipping center operation. Right here. What's going down? Taking back America is what's going down, Ian. And then, taking back America. You look great in this bright oh, thank you. orange light. Is this like, what is it called? Honey hour? Peter, get over here! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Closing this thing up, let's go, let's go. Now I'd say we're 95% there. Do it! Nothing but big things. Check the hit list, how we twitch. What changed with the name? We still here, you're rocking with the best. Don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. Bad boy for life. I know I didn't feel like a No, I am mourning Wally's loss of his legacy. It's the beginning for us, but it's the end for him. So there's like. I feel like it's a responsibility, you know, especially like Dolores, you know, saying basically we believe in you guys and, and basically don't let us down, you know. They can see and believe in our mission and what, we're, what we want to accomplish and they want to be part of it. Gives me the like the confirmation that we're doing the right thing. It's overwhelming, but I felt that before I went in. So you could finally film out here, Ian. This is uh, well, this floor out of the 160,000 square feet. This is 40,000 square feet. This is all the inspection, all the packing. It's just. Ridiculous. These guys have been doing this for 45 years. They're the best in America at it. And they used to make 60,000 pairs of jeans a week. Now we own that. Now we can scale. Now we can take back America. What are you trying to do setting an example for other people that are gonna come and try to do the same shit that you are? And what would you say to them? I'd say, man, get in the game. Just expect to get crushed. Because <laughs> we aren't stopping. You, you better be a savage.